Hey everyone, Mars Jagate here, bringing you the news in the flash. Let's get into it. Masaya Nakamura, the founder of Namco, and to many people, the father of Pac-Man, has sadly passed away at the age of 91 on January 22nd. He founded the company back in 1955 to develop kitty rides for department stores before rebranding the company in 1977 and expanding into arcade games, where they would meet major success throughout the 70s and 80s with games like Galaxian and Pac-Man. This would then lead the company to explore the rising handheld and console gaming market, and by 2005, Bandai and Namco decided to combine their operations and become that company that puts out those Dark Souls games. It's safe to say, though, without Messiah, the video game industry would look very different than it does today, and it's sad to see someone like that with such a legacy behind them laid to rest. Due to the family's wishes of privacy, there really isn't a whole lot of details around the death. Uh, heck, Bandai and Namco didn't even post out an official statement until the 30th. That being said, if you do want to learn more, I will leave the link for the article from New York Times down below. Memphis May Fire has parted ways with their guitarist, Anthony Sepp. They both have released statements. You can check out both of them down below. Square Enix has announced they will be releasing Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, in Europe and North America on July 11th for PlayStation 4. This is a remastered version of the original game, which came out in 2006 on the PlayStation 2, now with updated graphics including characters' environments, a newly recorded soundtrack, a new trials mode, and the inclusion of the International Zodiac job system which offers a wide variety of customization to the player's party, as it allows the users to assign roles to characters which would in then turn provide them access to unique skills and stat gross. This was only included in a Japan-only update to the original game which came out a year later, I think, after the game had launched, so it'll, nice, it'll be nice to finally be able to check it out. Anyways, if you want to check out the announcement, I will leave it below for you. Seeing as it's Final Fantasy's 30th anniversary, there were a couple of other announcements, including them announcing the first episode of Final Fantasy XV, episode Gladiolus, which is set to be released on March 28th. They have released a couple of screenshots for it, which you can check it out below. They have also released a screenshot for Kingdom Hearts 3 and uh, Final Fantasy 7, which I was a little bit disappointed with because it is Final Fantasy 7's 20th anniversary, and I was kind of hoping for a trailer since they are making a remake, but whatever. I'll leave that, all of that down below for you. And finally, AFI has released a new music video titled Aurora. I think that's what it is. You can check it out below. Thank you all for joining me. I will see you on the next one. Mars out.